All right, we can now cross back to our correspondent in Berlin, Nick Spicer, joining us. Uh, Nick, uh, I was just asking before about the measures that have been put in place where you are to combat uh, COVID-19. Well, Germany's really been the sort of standout student in the European classroom thanks to a science-based approach and thanks to the leadership of Angela Merkel. Right in April, she's a scientist herself, a PhD in physics. She said, listen, 70% of the population is likely to get the virus. So setting off uh, an alarm bell, if you will, getting people to pay attention. And she, you know, immediately started telling people about the reproduction rate of the virus. And there was an soon after a, an app which people could download from the federal government. And then politically, she got all the 16 regional premiers to coordinate and have a regional response to what was going on and reserve for herself a handbrake, uh, which means she could reinstall all of the most severe lockdown measures if she decided that was needed. So what are those measures? Well, in terms of exterior relations, if you come into Germany, you will be given a COVID test, whether you're coming through an airport or a train station. Uh, people are tested, and particularly if you are designated to have come from a hotspot. Here, the domestic rules are you need to wear a mask uh, if you're going in public transport, if you're going into a shop, if you're going into a restaurant, and if you're going to school. School has started up again. It's no longer the uh, teleschooling that happened in the past months before the summer break. Students are going to school, but some classes uh, have been cancelled, which all means we've only had a relatively low death rate of 9,500 people of about 250,000 cases, which is a 2.5% fatality rate. There is one curious phenomenon, however, is that there's been a growing movement to stop these measures, to take care of the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, and they have brought together in Berlin, including people who tried to storm parliament, uh, QAnon supporters, supporters of Donald Trump and, and members of the far right. And uh, people who analyze this say it's perhaps proof that actually things, um, you know, are so successful that Germany's become a victim of its own success and people are feeling too safe. All right, thank you very much for that update from Berlin. Nick Spicer there.